Hey guys, Jeff Schneider here, and we're going to talk about the diminished scale today. There are a couple secrets within the diminished scale that are really cool. I want you guys to know about it. So we're going to talk about one of those today, and it has to do with finding the major triads that exist within the diminished scale. So first, the diminished scale is a symmetrical scale, meaning it's made up of half steps and whole steps only. So we go half step, then a whole step, then a half step, then a whole step. You can also do the reverse, which is uh, when you start on a whole step. Anyway. <laughs> the half step whole step version meaning I'm starting with a half step so I'm playing this on an E flat diminished scale so I'm starting on E flat then going up a half step to E then a whole step to F sharp then a half step to G and so on it's the exact same pattern go up a half step go up a whole step go up a half step go up a whole step until you get back up to the uh, the same note that you started on which in this case is E flat so here's the scale once more <laughs> So I know a lot of you guys know the scale already, but what you might not know is that there are actually four triads, major triads, that exist within the diminished scale. So if we're talking E flat diminished, you can get an E flat major chord triad, an F sharp major triad, an A major triad, and a C major triad, all within the notes that make up that E flat diminished scale. If you write out the scale, you'll see that you can find those notes that make up those four triads. So what you might also notice is that the interval between those roots of those major triads, like the E flat to the F sharp to the A to the C, that actually makes up a diminished seventh chord. So if you play that on the piano, you'll see E flat, F sharp, A, and C, those notes make up that diminished seventh chord. So an example of how I like to utilize these triads is actually a line that I played at the beginning of the video, and it went like this. I'll play it slow. So the way that I'm using these triads is by playing them in first inversion, meaning 3-5-1 of each triad. And I'm starting in this example on the C major triad. Remember, first inversion, so E, G, C. And then I'm going up a minor third to the next triad, which is the E flat triad, in first inversion. So E flat major in first inversion is... Same thing, 3, 5, 1, G, B flat, E flat. Uh, in my key, that is, uh, shit. And then you just follow the pattern up from there, going up minor thirds up to each triad. Is this making sense? Okay, so I'm adding one other thing to make this, uh, this line really hit hard, and that is by adding a leading tone. It's kind of an approach tone before the actual triad begins. So let's go back to the, uh, the first one, C major. <laughs> I'm actually starting on an E flat rather than an E. So I'm starting a half step below the third. And I'm doing that for each of the triads. So the next one would be. And then the next one. And then finally. And then we're starting again. We're back at the, uh, the C major at that point. So it's a pretty simple pattern once you break it down like that. You've got the four triads that you get from the diminished scale, and then you play it in first inversion, each of those triads, and then you add that approach tone, the half step below the third. So that's how you get the whole line. And you can play it really fast, you can play it slow. Lots of other combinations to make with these, uh, these triads. I encourage you, as always, to experiment See what you guys can figure out. If you have questions, leave them below. Comments, leave them below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.